Good evening. Genius. Game changer. The man who revolutionized the world. Those are all phrases being used tonight to describe Steve Jobs. Jobs, who died yesterday of cancer at 56, co-founded Apple Computers and developed the iPod, the iPhone, the iPad, and so much more. But we do have one more thing. That was Jobs' catchphrase, used every time he launched one of Apple's innovations. And the innovations were breathtaking, from the Macintosh to the iPad. Tributes are pouring in for Jobs, who is being remembered as a visionary and the leading light of the digital age. The man who created Apple with Steve Jobs is also speaking out about his death. Steve Wozniak says Jobs was the person who technologically pushed the world to where it is today. To just be on top of almost every little detail, it's why, you know, unbelievable numbers of people just, you know, admire him and have such strong feelings today. It's like how there are not very many people could have done that. So as these, so Steve stuck, stayed in the game. He stayed in the game. Now those thoughts are being echoed right here on Vancouver Island tonight. Kylie Stanton reports. The brand is iconic. Technologic. The products are unmistakable. With its new and improved gadgets and trusted staples, Mac and the man behind the name has made its mark. He was willing to take chances, think outside of the box, uh, go in certain directions that other computer, computer companies have not gone or did not go. And for that, uh, Apple has reaped the benefits. So at home, I'll be online. Yep. The platform is revolutionizing the way people connect to the world and each other. So just click done. All with the touch of a button. Definitely has made it easier for us older folks to get on and, and actually keep up with the times. Let's do this one. But no matter what age, Cat. there's one thing everyone can agree on. It's user friendly. I think it's user friendly. Yeah. It's become a key factor for musicians testing out ideas and recording from home. It gives you a, a way of putting stuff, putting your ideas down in a form that's really quite simple and visual. You can see it, right? Um, and you could add things to it. You, know, you can just play with your keyboard, do a bass line or something, or, and then you play it, right? Using GarageBand, a program built into the operating system, tracks are assembled quickly and easily. But basically, yeah, you just turn it on, press record, and go for it. The same thing happens here. Infinity Studios uses similar software to record big names. It's a step up from the basics, but the quality is consistent. You know, people are making entire records in GarageBand. People are making entire records in Logic. You know, I've heard top 40 singles that are literally trillion dollar selling singles that were literally made on something that you could buy for $600, you know? When it gets to that level, it's, you know, as far as just being an artist goes, you you start to realize that, you know, the, the sky's pretty much the limit. It's what's leveling the playing field. And with the introduction of iTunes, everyone has a chance to make it big. Before, it was like you needed a distribution deal to get into all the brick-and-mortar retail stores. And now all you need is a credit card, you know, 50 bucks, and, and uh, your song's up there within 24 hours, kind of a kind of a thing, which is amazing. The legacy is in place, but now it's about the future. One without the innovator who started it all.